So what I'm gonna show you guys is how I store my decals, water slides, stickers, anything like that. Um, I have this four by six album, so it is um, both sides here, and I forget how many pages it is, but it holds quite a bit. I, I did buy a couple of these albums. Um, but the first thing I did was I took these uh, these water slides here, and they come in you know, a set of two, and I took these Zots, which are double-sided little dots here, and um, I stuck them to this cardboard, and I sized it, I don't know, this album is for four by six photos, so I cut them a little smaller just so that it slides any easier. So after I did that, I went and um, I have these, you can't really see it, but they're meant to hold, um, I don't know what size it is, but it should be about four by six or so. And this card, card stock here is something I already had. Um, so I just kind of cut it to make it a little um, skinnier than four by six, just so that it flushes in when I insert it. So after, after I in, so after I stick all the decals on the card stock here, I'm going to insert it in this uh, little clear bag here. And what this does is it, it, it serves two purposes. One is that you see how these kind of kind of stick out. If you keep them in the bag and you insert it inside your album, it's not going to um, catch onto the edges and move around. So that's uh, number one. And number two is that um, I'm just super worried about the ink um, transferring um, on the plastic of this uh, photo album long term. I made a mistake um, when I first uh, bought a bunch of these uh, water slides, these full colored water slides, and I removed them from the protective package, um, the little sleeve here. So, to, so keep it in the sleeve that it comes in. Um, so when I removed it, I inserted it into a different uh, but similar album. It was more like a planner. And what happened was the ink um, stuck to the plastic. And so when I went to remove the decals, um, the water slide decals from the plastic, the ink had already kind of attached to the plastic and it, it essentially rubbed it, um, it stuck to it. And so it was missing a bunch of color. Uh, I ended up ruining a ton of water slides, which I ended up having to repurchase again. So after, um, what I do recommend is just putting it in the sleeve just so it helps protect it. So I'm going to cut the excess off. And then this bag is a little, it, it fits, it's a little uh, wider than the sleeve. So it will eventually fit if I, if I shove it in here, you see here, it kind of scrunches here. So you can do two things. You can either cut off the excess or you can kind of fold it down or you can just leave it and then just, just slide right in. But here I, I have it folded. Um, so that helps it go in a lot faster and smoother. And if I want to use it, I just slide it out. I remove it from the backing, um, the, the clear sleeve here. And then I'm gonna remove um, a set that I wanna use. Um, and the others will stay in place. Now, it was driving me nuts not being able to see um, the, the slides that I have. And you, you can see here, I've purchased the same design several times because I never knew what I had. Um, so that was driving me a bit crazy. I'm gonna put this one in here and I've, I already have this one in its sleeve. Just gonna fold the top a little bit. I'm gonna slide it in. So I hope that this uh, will help you guys um, protect your decals, water slides, stickers, because um, long-term storage, uh, we, we pay so much money for this stuff and uh, we want to make sure that our investment is protected. So I hope you enjoyed um, this quick tutorial. If you um, have any questions, go ahead and feel free to comment down below and then I will chat with you guys later. Bye!